All right, well, uh, welcome everyone um, to our Sunday afternoon concert. Uh, welcome to our living room in Oakland, California. Um, I'm Joseph Maley on violin, and this and is... I'm Peiling Lin on viola. Yeah, and we are half of the Telegraph Quartet, normally. Um, we're missing our dear uh, compatriots, Jeremiah Shaw and Eric Chen, who would make us complete. But luckily, there's just enough viola and violin music for us to put on the concert. Um, yeah, so um, during these times, we were actually going to, um, we were originally going to put on a concert as a quartet, but given the uh, shelter in place and all of the um, uh, developments as this is, as we're in this for the long haul, um, that was not possible, sadly. But we want to thank Violin Channel for making all of these living room concerts uh, a reality. Uh, there's nothing like live music. And we are so happy and delighted that we get to share our live music with you. Um, so, yeah, so today we have some uh, fun works for you. We have uh, pieces by Martineau, Mozart, and some solo works mm -hmm. uh, by Hindemith and um, Bach. Bach, that's right. <laughs> Can't forget about Bach. So, first up, we're going to play some Martineau for you. It's very, it's kind of spicy, colorful music. Uh, Martineau was a Czech um, composer, 20th century, uh, first half of the 20th century composer. And uh, yeah, I think it kind of speaks for itself that it's got a lot of flair and attitude. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, that's our duo introduction to the concert, and now we will go on to some solo stuff. Um, Paling's going to do, well, she'll introduce the next piece. Right. Okay, so um, before I started uh, the solo bar, um, I guess this is a, such a funny time that we're in, and I think we're all looking for opportunities to make the best of the situations, and uh, one of the things we found that we we do quite a bit nowadays is to brush up on our solo rep, which is you know, always a great thing. But another thing that we do that's quite uplifting is that, well, since we're such a fan of food, um, we started to learn how to make soup dumplings, which is one of my favorite food. And you, as you can imagine, a busy musician will not have the time to learn how to make soup dumplings during their touring seasons. So now this is the perfect time to figure out how to do that. And of course we're still novice, but um, it has been quite fun. And Joseph has learned how to say soup dumplings in Chinese. Xiaolong Tangbao. Tangbao. Okay, we'll keep practicing. That's work in progress. Just like our soup dumplings. Right, okay, so... Um, that's enough soup dumplings. We'll go to the bar, and this one that i like to share with you all today is a really beautiful uh, almond from Bach Cholo Suite number 6.
All right, so it's now my turn. Um, let's see here. So, oh, I forgot to mention this, but if anyone wants to leave comments on the Facebook page, on the on channel, on the violin channel, go ahead, we'll um, respond to them in the 20 minutes that we have left, or 15 minutes left. Um, yeah, so give us a shout out or anything you want to do. We'll, we're happy to take some kinds of requests, not all. All right, so I am going to play um, some Hindemith. Believe it or not, the violinist is going to play Hindemith, not the violist. Um, so uh, this is going to be from his first uh, violin solo sonata. Um, it's a funny piece. It's, it's got a kind of bristly exterior, um, but beneath it, I think it's this incredibly charming work. And um, I'm going to play the third and the fourth movements. The third is kind of goofy, kind of clownish um, <coughs> work. It's uh, uh, kind of uh, scherzando in a way. And then the fourth movement is a, a kind of intermezzo, really beautiful, um, gracioso style uh, work. So here's Hindemith's third and fourth movements from his um, first violin solo sonata.
just like bah. <laughs> I mean Hindemith. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> out of the um, okay, so we I think we uh, got a question about what kind of mic we're using. Um, Eric, maybe you can tell them. <laughs> yeah, well, this is interesting because in our group, we are the old-fashioned ones, and the other two are uh, super tech savvy. So we <clears throat> borrowed uh, one of their mics, and it's just a, a plugged in, an external mic that you plugged into um, the phone that has a, the lightning con connection. So, I mean, it's right Shure now it's... Mic. Sure, S-H-U-R-E. It's very simple, very simple to use. Yeah. If people are interested. Right. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so, uh, let's see. We just have Mozart left. Yeah, um, but we did want to mention, um, before we play the Mozart, you wanted to say right. something about... Right, okay, so, um, <clears throat> well, so I think in this time that everybody is, you know, kind of, uh, kept to themselves, uh, but also what's interesting is that there is still a sense, even a stronger sense of a community nowadays, um, even in our apartment building, um, there are times that I, we will open the door and then there will be a little really nice notes that's left from our neighbors, people who just live in the apartment building say, we are going out to get groceries, um, if you don't feel comfortable, they will be happy to, to um, get groceries for you if you just uh, turn in the grocery list or occasionally you will see um, uh, paper towels that I guess people just, they, they feel very like kindly they, donate they, they, they want to share so you know it, it has been actually a really a strong sense of that people want to come together um, nowadays so uh, we want to take this chance to ask for the support to this wonderful organization that that uh, essentially is a safety net to the Bay Area chamber musicians and jazz musicians called Intermusic SF. Um, if, yeah, if you want to donate to them, there should be uh, a place to do that right on uh, the Facebook feed right mm -hmm, now. Right. And uh, we are fiscal partners of theirs. In fact, we're on the board. Um, but uh, so, if you want to donate to Telegraph Quartet. During this time of uh, financial instability for all of us chamber musicians, um, it we would greatly appreciate that. We want to give you these performances. We're happy to do them um, for free and give them out of the generosity of our own hearts. Uh, we want to share our music, but at the same time, like we know many other people, um, we're going to get hit hard by this. Uh, we've already con uh, already canceled pretty much two months of concerts, and the summer is looking like it's grim. So um, this Inner Music SF is a great place to go to donate to, uh, just in general, for any um, Bay Area relief you'd like to provide for chamber music um, groups, small ensembles in the area. Um, yeah, so without further ado, we're going to finish it off with Mozart. Um, you can't play a violin viola duo concert, I don't think, without uh, a Mozart uh, string duo. Um, he wrote two of them, and we're going to play the first one in G major, and I think Maybe this is probably the perfect music for a living room. I'm sure uh, when, when Mozart was writing it, this is the idea he had in mind. Uh, well, just uh, minus the iPhones and the virtual connection. <laughs> Actual people in the living room yes. was probably an important thing back then, but we'll pretend. So here's the, the first movement of uh, Mozart's G major string duo.
channel. Um, I, I know we're in this for the long haul, so we want to keep music going um, in all of our lives, live music especially, um, just so we can keep our spirits up during this incredibly troubling time. Um, thank you to all who tuned in, our friends, family, students. <laughs> Shout out to everybody at the SFCM, San Francisco Conservatory of Music, who are starting their classes online uh, this week, trying to share music and explore it still during these times. And um, one last thank you to... Uh, uh, our manager. Yes, our manager, Christina Jensen uh, of Jensen Artists, for putting this all together. Thanks, guys, for fielding all our questions yeah. uh, and all that. <laughs>